Now we will consider an alternative situation where the only force doing work is an elastic force. Consider the diagram shown here where a block is sliding along a horizontal frictionless surface with a velocity v. It collides with the spring which is before the collision in its normal relaxed state. In other words, neither stretched nor compressed. The block continues to move to the right, hence compressing the spring. The only force doing any work on the block is the restoring force of the spring. There are other forces acting on the block, for example, gravity and the normal force, but these do not do any work in this situation because they are perpendicular to the motion. It follows that the work done by the spring on the block as it moves from x1 to x2 is given by the integral of f dx from x1 to x2, where the subscript el on the w there stands for elastic. The spring force is given by minus kx. The negative sign indicates the direction of the spring force on the block, which is opposite to the displacement of the block as it moves from x1 to x2. Therefore, the work done is negative. Therefore, the work done is equal to the integral from x1 to x2 of kx dx, which evaluating the integral gives us minus and then kx squared over 2 from x1 to x2, which finally gives us kx1 squared over 2 minus kx2 squared over 2. Just as we did for gravitational work done, the work, for work done by an elastic spring, we define kx squared over 2 to be the elastic potential energy of the spring. You can think of elastic potential energy being stored in the spring when it is stretched or compressed, because a stretched or compressed spring has the ability or potential to perform work on something. Therefore, the work done is equal to u1 minus u2. In other words, the potential energy at position 1 minus the potential energy at position 2. Which is equal to minus u2 minus u1 in brackets, which is equal to minus the change in the potential energy. In the case shown where the block is slowed down by the spring, the work done is negative. So the potential energy gained by the system, actually it's all stored in the spring, is positive. Again, the work energy theorem says that the work, total work done is equal to the change in the kinetic energy, no matter what kind of forces are acting on the body. If the elastic force is the only force doing work on the body, then the total work done is just equal to u1 minus u2. Combining this with the work energy theorem equation gives us that k2 minus k1 is equal to u1 minus u2. Rearranging, we get two, k2 plus u2 is equal to k1 plus u1, which is the same as a half mv1 squared plus a half kx1 squared is equal to a half mv2 squared minus a half kx2 squared, where m is the mass of the block, and v1 and v2 are the speeds at x1 and x2 respectively. So the total mechanical energy is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So therefore, the total mechanical energy is conserved again. <laughs>